What are the elements of a history to cover when taking a penicillin allergy history? When taking a penicillin allergy history, uh, first find out how long ago was the reaction, and then find out the name of the penicillin or penicillin-related antibiotic that the patient reacted to. Uh, what were the symptoms that the patient had as part of that reaction? Was it immediate within hours or did it occur several days after receiving the antibiotic? And then finally, what treatment was actually required for the patient? Are there any histories that are typically considered low risk and amenable to direct challenge? The most favorable histories and common histories that are suitable uh, for direct challenge are those that are unknown to the patient or non-severe cutaneous reactions that occurred more than five years ago. Are there patients that can be directly delabeled without testing? There are some patients that have inadvertently received and tolerated a penicillin antibiotic since their original reaction. If this can be confirmed, these patients can be directly delabeled. There are some histories that are not consistent with penicillin allergy, such as headache, nausea, or a family history of penicillin allergy when they themselves do not have an allergy. And these can be directly delabeled if the patient is comfortable. If they are uncomfortable with this, a one-step oral amoxicillin challenge can also be considered. Are there any historical features that would indicate a patient cannot be tested? Red flag symptoms such as blistering, mucosal, or oral lesions, or liver involvement should be specifically asked about, since a history of these would preclude further testing or penicillin use. What tools can assist with determining if a direct penicillin challenge is appropriate? There is a validated tool called PenFast that assigns points in a history to determine whether a patient is suitable for an oral amoxicillin challenge. Pen represents someone with a history of penicillin allergy. F represents five or less years ago. A represents angioedema or anaphylaxis. S stands for severe cutaneous reaction, such as blistering, mucosal lesions, or ocular involvement. T represents whether medical treatment was required. Each element is assigned a point value. A score of two or less represents a favorable challenge risk.